hello. All right, I'm bringing you out here this morning because I want to show you, well, quick span of the garden here. I want to show you how you can hand pollinate some vegetables. In particular this morning, I want to show you how to hand pollinate some courgettes, also known as zucchini, um, also known as summer squash. Um, so anyway, here are my two plants. And for the longest time, I've been only having male flowers. Um, having like 20, 20, 30 male flowers and a, one or two female flowers. I'm going to show you what they look like. Here is the zucchini that I hand pollinated about oh, eight days ago. So it's grow, she's growing in there very nicely. Now right here is a male flower. You can tell, uh, let's see, the inside, that is the stamen, the male part of the plant. I'm going to pick this flower because we're going to need this guy, this stamen, to pollinate our female. I'm going to peel back the petals to show you what that looks like a little bit better. Bear with me for a sec. It's really hard to do one-handed. Holy cow. Okay. So here is the stamen without its beautiful petals around it. And since I haven't been having a lot of bee action, um, I'm going to hand pollinate this guy. And there is a female flower right here. I don't know if you can see the difference. That's what the pistol looks like in your courgette. That's the female. Male, female, stamen, wait, no, wait, stamen, pistol. So all you do is you take this uh, uh, device, <laughs> if you will, and you just spread the pollen all around. Pretend you're a bee, you can buzz a little if you want to but uh, I don't think that helps but just get all parts of it coated you probably can't see that guy is pretty much spent now there's no pollen left on it so I'm just gonna discard it and um, that will eventually in a couple of days look a little bit better oh let me show you also the back the back part I should remember the names of this, but see this part right here, that is what's going to turn into your fruit. Here's another, this is a female flower beginning that's going to eventually open and have, uh, be able to receive pollen in it. And let me see, show you what a male, I should have showed you this before I picked the other one. Here's another male flower. and. Uh, you can't really get in there, but he doesn't have that bulbous bottom backside to him because uh, because he won't, you know, obviously produce a fruit. I'm trying to get in here. Oh, there's another female. Look at that. You can tell by that bulbous thing. Anyway, that's all you do, really, if you need to hand pollinate. Sometimes the bees just don't get um, get to your plant. And you could do this with pumpkins, you can do this with, you know, um, squash, cucumbers if you have issues. So that's it. Um, just, I don't know why, I'm just showing you more spans of my coffee and spans of the garden. Tomatoes. Alright, have a good day and go eat something healthy hopefully from your garden.